हेलो फ्रेंड वेलकम टू इंजीनियरिंग करता सो दिस इज अवर सेकंड क्वेश्चन फॉर द पोर्टल फ्रेम मेथड दैट इज द एनालिसिस बाय यूजिंग पोर्टल फ्रेम मेथड हियर वी हैव टू एनालिसिस दिस फ्रेम सो लेट अस स्टार्ट आवर फर्स्ट स्टेप वाज द कैलकुलेशन ऑफ शेयर फोर्स इन द फॉलो सो दिस इज आवर फर्स्ट अजम्पशन दैट इज द पॉइंट ऑफ कंट्रोल फ्रैक्चर इज लाइज एट द सेंटर ऑफ द स्पैन दैट इज द सेक्शन इज पासेस फ्रॉम द सेंटर That is, it is h by two. That is three point five by two. So it is the distance from the center. And our second assumption is that the shear force taken by the interior column is twice the shear force taken by the exterior column. That's why make the horizontal summation. That is, p plus two p plus p plus two fifty. We get p plus two twelve point five kilonewton. And for the same calculation for the bottom story, section is passed from the mid of this plane. That's why, and uh, this is the shear force in the column. By making the horizontal summation, by making horizontal summation, we get R equals to 35 kilonewton. Now moving towards our second step, that is the calculation of moment at the end of column. Means the calculation of moment here. For the top story, first of all, we make the calculation for the top story here. The moment from A to D. Moment from A to D. The same as that moment from D to A, because the force for this span is same. Similarly, the moment from C to D is same as that from moment from F to C. Here and these two moments are same because the force here acting is same. That is P. That's why directly 12.5. Here we calculate the uh, value of P. Here 12.5 into H by two H as is nothing but the three point five divided by two. So we directly calculated this in our calculation. We get twenty one point eight seven five kilonewton meter. This is the value of moment for this span. So here the exterior column and the for the moment from B to E is same as that moment from E to B, which is two P into H by two. Here two P is nothing but twenty five. This twelve point five into two, we get twenty five into H by two equals to forty three point seven five kilonewton meter. Now for the calculation for the bottom story, this calculation is also same what we did here. That is, moment from D to H, D to H is same as that from H to G, and also the moment of this span also same. So it is we directly here we calculate the R R into H by two means we can get the moment at this point. What we have to calculate that is R into H by two we get seventy eight point seven five kilonewton. So this is the this is the value of all these moments. And for the interior column that is for the column E to H it is seventy means two R. 35 into 2 here the 70 into h by 2 we get the moment at this point also the moment at the bottom point so it is value of 157.5 kilonewton meter now our third step that is the calculation of moment at the end of a beam so first we make the calculation for the top story here we have to calculate the moment at the end of beam Means the moment here we have to calculate here for this span we take this point so here the moment created in this column A to D is same as that moment created in this column B to A if that's why here also the P into H by two because suppose here we calculate this is the horizontal force here P here that We calculate the moment from A to D, and here suppose this is the moment from A to B. So sum of these two moments at this point must be zero because this frame is in equilibrium. That's why the value of this moment is same as that value of this moment, but the direction of these two moments are equal and opposite. So that's why here we take P into H by two. Directly we get twenty one point eight seven five kilonewton meter. So this movement of this whole span is same as that this. 
this now for the bottom story for the bottom story also the same here movement from d to e movement from d to e is sum of movement created at this point here and here also the horizontal forces is r so here also movement created here r and that's why this movement movement created due to p this movement movement created due to r we get the movement in this pattern so we get movement in this pattern which is p into h by 2 plus r into h by 2 we get 100.625 kN now moving towards our fourth step shear force in the beam so it is very easy to calculate the shear force in the beam that is we know that here the movement movement from a to b and movement from b to a divided by length so we directly get the shear force from a to b means shear force at the mid of the span a b from a to b which is 14.5 kN what I represent here and the shear force from b to a shear force from b to a it is 14.58 kN so similarly for bc similarly for bc calculate the movement calculate the movement divided by the length directly get 8.75 kN upward and for cb it is downward value is same similar procedure is used for bottom story that is vde for this pan we know the movement at this point that's why movement divided by this length movement from d to e plus movement from e to d divided by this length we find out this shear force at the mid of the span and for the opposite it is downward direction similarly for e to f so we calculate the shear force in the beam we calculate the shear force in the beam here the movement at the end of beam movement at the end of column and the shear force in the columns that is the horizontal shear force just what i represent here this is the represent of all the shear forces that is vertical shear force and the horizontal shear forces and this is the representation of all the movements what we calculated the movements in the beam and the movements in the column if you found this is helpful for you please like our video please share our video and don't forget to subscribe engineering Atta. thank you